I wanted to be a dancer. I grew up in Siberia. I was born in a little town, which is actually not so little. It's about like Denver. Uh, it's a Siberian scientific city, Tomsk. This is a scientific capital of Russia. My parents, they were working in scientific institute. My mother was a fashionista when she was young. And she were make sewing very, very cool stuff for herself and for us too. It was a deficit, deficit in Russia at that times. We didn't have any clothes in the shops, any products in the shops, just bread and pickles, for example. I used to see all the times how she's sewing and like at home it was all uh, in sewing, in uh, patterns everywhere on the floor, these patterns, I remember fabrics, magazines, what she was making for us. It was very different what, what people were wearing. I was uh, studying in choreography school many years and I graduated like uh, in my teenage from choreography school and I wanted to go and be a dancer and my mom told no daughter you will not earn like a dancer any money you you should be uh, accountant or a lawyer I studied uh, economics in in college I studied physics too very seriously and chemistry and I was not good in, in chemistry <laughs> I went to Moscow just to visit my friends who just moved to there. They suggest that I would also find a job there. And I just thought, what the hell, of course. Maybe 10 years I was uh, working in Moscow. I've met more creative people there and I understood I want to do some creative stuff. I realized that nothing is impossible so you make your life, you make your choices, and all world is here for you. You just need to dream more, to, to dream, to, to think who you are. I had a boyfriend at that time, he was a painter, and we enjoyed just to go and lose ourselves. He gave me this taste of dark underground. He, he kind of directed me. He liked to dress me. He bought clothes for me. He sewed for me too. My mom lives in the United States already for 15 years. She always wanted to have me here. One of my vacation, I came to here and met the guy. I met the guy, and uh, we decided to get married after a year of online relationships. And after I moved to U.S., I decided to take an online academy. It was Russian school. And uh, I was studying for a year there. Uh, it was, like, very intense. My style is uh, mostly deconstruction, distressed, avant-garde. Sometimes somebody can see post-apocalyptic vibes, futuristic too. I love black and white aesthetics. And I just love dark. I love darkness. I like deep deepness, I like sadness. Because it's beautiful, it's feeling. And uh, I like feelings. 
Upcycling is a, the way of uh, reusing something what was already in use, or not necessary in use, but had uh, another function. You can give new life to, to these things, and you just can change. You can decorate, or you can change the purpose of this thing, uh, or give another shape, or add something. Or, like, it's so many ways to be creative doing upcycling, and that's why it's my favorite. You can do crazy stuff with that. I did a dress from socks. I have a dress from supermarket handbags. I um, do avant-garde jackets. For example, if you com combine many jackets and a lot of sleeves here on, the, on one side. I have a dress from gloves. Or I uh, also I have a lot of dresses which I made from coats, winter like no, heavy, fab, heavy wool coats. Sometimes if I don't have a particular idea, I can find inspiration doing collages. Collage uh, I just cut out the parts from magazines, and then I glue it on the paper in different uh, shapes, and sometimes then I can see some beautiful shape which I would like to make with the clothes. Another way is uh, that I just take a piece and wrap around mannequin. It's also a beautiful, great way to find cool shapes and ideas. Or sometimes I just like have it in my mind and uh, I don't need even sketch. My greatest challenge is uh, not forget about other stuff in my life because I can do only fashion. I can see if I, I want to be focused on business, which I have to do, uh, it takes a part of my soul. <laughs> and then I have to recover to start creating again. That's what I noticed in myself. And when I am in this like cre creation flow, I just can't do business. I can't schedule. I can't be in time on meetings. I can't think clearly. This is hard. So it's very hard to switch from one mode to another one. This year, when I was waiting for my work permission, and I had time to realize that I will not work like an accountant anymore, it's enough. And I started sewing and very, very, very fast I realized that uh, this is everything what I want to do. I found the school, I joined to school, and then I started making collections and there is no way back already. My journey is an adventure and many changes and I don't want to stop, change my life, and I'm so glad that I am brave enough to leave attachments which I had, and I will try to do this as long as I can.